So we actually had an injury today. What happened? Can you explain what happened okay. to your hand? Um, I had frozen chicken, a ch pack of chicken breasts about this wide, six breasts. They were frozen solid. My husband gets off at five, so it was like 3.30, and I thought I'm going to try to get this thawed out real quick, but the whole pack wouldn't go in the microwave. So I sat it in hot water. Anyways, long story short, I took it out of the pack and took the knife down in between the three over here and, you know, was going to get the knife in there so they would break in half and I could put it in the microwave. No. Nah. Right down the blade. How many last races it's do we have? One, Some of it's it bloody. Just, it's, it's this, it's this right there, above, right, this crease right yeah. here above that where that, that fresh blood is. Okay. This is like, yeah, this is where it was stuck. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have a, we have a laceration up here, and then there's a little. Is that a laceration there? Or yes, sir. Okay. That, no, just right there. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. So both of them are like on the close on the middle family. Right. Okay. That's why it. I had it like held tight. That's okay. why the blood's dried there. Okay. Good. So what it looks like though that you have a um, um, flexor digitorum profundus tendon laceration she's laughing or crying i'm not sure um and um, and we're actually going to demonstrate that so okay um, so we this is our uh, medical student extraordinaire here yes Who's hi gonna... okay so the flexor digitorum profundus inserts on the distal phalanx of the finger wow. and its action is to uh flex uh the joint the distal interphalangeal joint okay so we're gonna try to demonstrate that now okay okay all right can you feel right, me so, the, Yeah, I can feel you. So, so stab I'm, stabilize that. Yeah, stabilize each finger individually and, and okay. have her demonstrate. Um, okay, now go ahead and bend the, the tips of your fingers. Try to bend all the tips. Good. Okay, and you got pinky. that one. And you got that one, but yeah. the other one won't bend. Okay. So can you show how to do the flexor digitorum superficialis? Sure. Okay, so now what so I'm going to... So you just demonstrated the flexor digitorum yeah. profundus, which so attaches to the distal phalanx. The distal phalanx. So okay. the flexor digitorum superficialis attaches to the middle phalanx, and it help, and its action is to flex um, at the proximal interphalangeal joint. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to have you bend your middle finger, or your ring finger. Which you, one? You, and you, I, well, you can actually... What, do that. Yeah, right? yeah, we can do that one. Okay. Can I bend this? Yep. That's good. Okay. Now let's see if the injured finger. Let's okay. let's see if she can bend that injured. So, so finger. try to bring bend that one. Okay. okay. So the flexor digitorum superficialis Super is intact. Yes. Okay. So it's the profundus that's been cut. Expialidocious. <laughs> yes. Expialidocious. Yeah, you know, all that mess she says. On. Mary Poppins. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. This is serious business. No, no, no joking around here. This is important, high-tech medicine we're doing here. So, obviously, I've got I've got some great patients and, and medical students here. So, thank you very much for letting us. You know, this you're ends welcome. up on YouTube, and you're okay, okay. with that. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> so, you're still going to have some chicken for for supper? Or? I, don't think, I don't think I ever want chicken again. You sound a little bitter about that. Done with chicken. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs>